Welcome all together. I'm showing you today my favorite museum in Norway, Stavanger Archaeologisk Museum. I know some of you who have been there or have been to some other museums in Norway may be cringing and not understand why I say this. Well, yeah, of course, I'm a little bit biased. My favorite parts of history are the Nordic Bronze Age, maybe even a bit before the Stone Age, and going chronologically through time through the Iron Age, migration period, and ending up in the Viking Age. For me personally, I really don't give a damn about any Renaissance era, I don't really care about the late Middle Ages that much, I don't care about foreign, ancient Egypt, Polynesian, whatever, like you might find here in this museum in Oslo. Um, I care mostly about the Nordic Bronze Age to the Viking Age. That's why this museum is my favorite. The only one comparable in Norway might be the uh, Viking Ship Museum in Oslo, but that one has been closed for a couple years and it's still going to be closed for a couple more years, so that's out of the running. This is my favorite museum in Norway and I'm here to show you why now. So, just a few short minute walk from Stavanger Centrum. This is a very easily accessible museum to everyone. And like I said, when you enter, you can take it chronologically all the way from the start. We are taking it backwards here in history, just because that's kind of the way the museum goes, starting in the Viking Age. So we have a runestone here that was found in the local surrounding regions and this is the coolest thing about museums in Scandinavia guys, you can actually go up to these things and touch them like you're not supposed to but I do anyway, <laughs> but uh, that's one of the favorite things you can really get up close and impersonal with a lot of these items. Here you see some jewelry, some pendants, some brooches. And here you actually see the remains of a ship um, from a burial from the Viking Age. You can literally walk up to, it's only the uh, prow that is still remaining, but still this was part of a ship a thousand years ago or more and you can actually go up to it and touch it and even feel the wood that our ancestors uh, worked on themselves. And here are some weapons, and these are actually the swords found from the surrounding areas that the uh, ones at Sveidifjell uh, from the Battle of Hafersfjord are um, remodeled after. Then, going back in time, there's a whole room dedicated to the migration period and kind of uh, early Iron Age. Now here we find a bunch of typical things. You'll find the jewelry, some beautiful, beautiful arm rings, and also some weapons. You'll also find these rune stones, some of the earliest ones uh, that we have in Scandinavia, and these are actually from also around this surrounding area. And, like I said, this museum goes back chronologically, so the next room over is the earlier Bronze Age. My favorite period, you guys all know this. Look at these things here, I mean, we're talking 1500 years, 2000 years, or even more before the Viking Age, but the kind of technology they had in the Bronze Age is very similar to the Viking Age. Look at these weapons, these beautiful arm rings these different types of jewelry things. There really is not that much difference, and I'm a big believer in that the Bronze Age civilizations were more advanced than anything else, really, because they had the kind of perfect uh, uh, quality of life at that time. See my videos that I did on the Bronze Age. And how can we forget the bronze lures, my favorite, favorite instrument of all time? And like I said, all of these things were found in the surrounding areas. We also have here a runestone. It's not really a runestone. There's not runes carved in it. Um, this is the Bronze Age. This is long before any writing system existed in Scandinavia, but I still like to call it a runestone because you can see here, even though there's no runes on it, it's the exact same kind of style uh, that you would find from a runestone in the Viking Age. As we leave this room, you'll also see a woman that comes by here uh, from time and time again, and she basically reconstructs a kind of sun dance worship um, to the Bronze Age sun cult, something like that. Very interesting, I didn't miss that, too bad for me, <laughs> that looks like quite a spectacle. Then going back even further, we have finds from the Stone Age. These are pretty uh, basic and primitive. They're weapons and tools, things like that. This is where we really see a huge jump in technology and development of people. And it's why I always say the Bronze Age was the best time to live in history because they had the uh, good enough technology to make life comfortable as it was for the next couple thousand years after that. But they were still connected to nature and living one 
one with the earth and things like that like they have done in the stone age and in hunter-gatherer societies many thousands of years before too we even have a very special find in the next room over from the Ice Age. This is one of the oldest preserved skeletons of any animal in Scandinavia. This was a polar bear from just a neighboring island just outside of Stavanger from Finlay. And this is one of the most significant finds from the Ice Age in this region. And it's pretty much still preserved a full polar bear skeleton from just after the ice melted in this whole region. And finally, we go back even further in time in the final room of the Archaeologist Museum here there is a room dedicated to the gods and the myths be that were there before anything else that's what you believe at least but that's my favorite room at the end of it and I th thought it was so cool that this museum takes you back from time chronologically all the way from the Viking Age back to the Ice Age and even before. So that is why I like this museum the most. They also have a great little gift shop here. So that's all for today. This is just one of many, many historical things to check out in Stavanger. And it's one of the reasons that Stavanger and Jugaland area is my favorite place to visit uh, for historical kind of tourism. There is just so much in this region to uh, see and discover throughout uh, many thousands of years of history. So definitely check this out if you are in the area. But that's all for today. We see us next time.